Welcome back to another VideoPad video editor tutorial with easy to follow step by step instructions. In this VideoPad tutorial, I'm going to show you how to change the color of the black bars around your zoom effect and how you can replace these bars with an image to create your own background effect. I'm using VideoPad version 7.51, but the general concepts can be used with older and newer versions as well. The first thing you will need to do after you've placed your video onto the timeline is you will need to mark off the section you wish to apply your zoom effect to. Use the red timeline cursor, hover your mouse over the red timeline cursor, and choose split all tracks. Do not use the brackets. And that is the beginning of your section that you wish to apply your effect to. Move your red timeline cursor to the end of where you wish to apply your effect and also choose split all tracks. Click one time in the middle and it will become gray. Now, once you have activated from the top menu, choose video effects, zoom. Now, normally the first thing you will do is under restraint from the drop down menu restraint, you would choose the aspect ratio that matches the aspect ratio of your video. And if you are making a YouTube video, that would be 16 by nine. And that way you would have no black bars around your zoom. But sometimes as a special effect, you may want to have black bars around your zoom and I am going to choose a different restraint, 9 by 16, so that I will be getting black bars. I'm going to reposition it, though I'm not going to resize it. And then I'm going to close my dialog box. You can see the large black bars to the left and to the right hand side. We want to change the color of those black bars. To do this, we are going to add a blank clip and we can change the color of this blank clip by clicking on the color box. Click to set your solid color and I am just going to choose white but you can choose any color that you wish and you can also make it a gradient if you wish. We're just going to use it white and we're going to click on the add blank. And now we've added a new blank clip. I am going to reposition my red timeline cursor back to sort of the beginning of where our zoom segment is. And now I want you to notice that it has been put in the images file. So our blank clip is actually an image. Now I'm going to take the blank clip and I am going to drag it onto our timeline and notice it's been placed in its own video track, video track two. Now what I want to do is I want to make sure it's the exact same length as our zoom segment. So I am going to grab the handles and extend it so that it snaps to our cut marks. And it is now the exact same length as our zoom segment. Now this is the slightly tricky part because we need to switch the blank clip from video track number two onto video track number one and our zoom segment from video track number one onto video track number two. First I'm going to click and drag the blank clip onto track number one and notice how the zoom segment gets displaced to the right. I'm then going to click on the zoom segment to activate it. Make sure both the video and audio tracks are a light gray color and drag it onto track number two. We've already made them the exact same length so they will fit perfectly. I've exported the original clip and you can see our zoom effect with the new white borders. We're going to do this again, but this time we're going to be using our own image file for the background. I have already loaded my video file onto the timeline and the first thing that I am going to do is I am going to mark off the segment that I will be adding my zoom effect to 
and I use the red timeline cursor to position at the beginning and put my mouse over the red timeline cursor, click one time and choose split all tracks. I'm going to move my reposition my red timeline cursor and once again I am going to choose split all tracks. I have now marked off the section that I wish to apply my zoom effect to. I'm going to click one time in the middle to activate it. You can see it turns to a nice gray color. From the top menu, I'm going to choose Video Effect, Zoom, and for Restraint, this time I'm going to choose a 1 by 1 ratio. And I'm going to reposition and resize my Zoom box. So it's just kind of in the middle and just highlights these flowers. And when I'm finished, I am going to close my dialog box here, my Zoom dialog box. Now, so I've got my Zoom, and as you can see, I've got the black bars, which we want to eliminate, and we are going to use an image this time instead of a blank clip. So I have loaded an image here, but there's two things I want to do to this image before I add it to our timeline. Click one time on the image when it's in your bin over here on the left hand side so that it has been put into the clip preview. I want to do two things. The first thing I want to do is make sure that it's 16 by 9 ratio because I am uploading this to YouTube and so YouTube is 16 by 9 and basically what you need to do is you need to make sure that your image is the same aspect ratio as your video. And to change the aspect ratio, this one I've purposely made 13 uh, as a 3 by 4 ratio. To change the aspect ratio of an image, once it's in clip preview, you can right click on it, choose change clip aspect ratio, and I usually choose stretch and I'm going to choose 16 by 9 and you can see it stretched it out, it distorted it a little bit, but that's okay. Now the second effect I want to apply to my image that I'm going to be using as the background is I want to blur it because it's going to be the background and I do not want it to distract from my zoom. It's in the clip preview I and now I'm going to click on video effect and I'm going to come down here and choose blur. Now this uh, blur dialog box comes up and there are a couple of ways that you can adjust the blurriness. There's a slider bar, there's a numeric value, and there's also a drop-down menu. Smoothest means the most blurry. The default actually looks just fine to me. It's blurry, but it's, you know, it's okay. Um, so we're just going to leave it at that. You can play with these other settings to decide which is most appropriate for your video needs. And I'm just going to close this dialog box. So we have now made sure that our image is the correct aspect ratio and we've also blurred it. Okay, now I'm going to go back to sequence preview. And I need to place this image on my timeline. And the last time we clicked and dragged it, this time I'm going to right click and choose overlay on sequence at cursor because I've moved the cursor to where our zoom sequence is. And as you can see, our image has been added to video track number two. I'm going to get my red timeline cursor out of the way. Now I want to resize this image so that it's the exact same length as my zoom. And I'm going to grab the handlebar and it will kind of snap to the grid of our cut marks. There we go. So it's the exact same length in time. You might want to give VideoPad a second or two to let it 
process the information. Now remember we need to switch so that the image is in video track number one and our zoom sequence is in video track number two. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag my background blurred image down into video track number one, displacing my zoom sequence. My zoom sequence has now been put over here on the right hand side. I'm going to click once and it is activated. I can see it's gray and both the zoom and the audio, the video and the audio are activated. I'm now going to drag them to video track number two right above my image. And it fits perfectly because we've already set the time. And I think it's going to look really, really good. Let me export this so that you can take a look. I hope this tutorial helped you out. Have fun replacing those ugly black bars around your zoom effect with the color of your choice or using your own personal image. Please leave your comments and questions below. Like and subscribe and be sure to check out my other video pad tutorials from the tech playlist in the description below.